Hot on the Block when we return. Interested in getting in on the Copart bidding action? Registration is easy and anyone can do it. Just go to Copart.com, click on How to Buy, sign up, and within seconds you'll be searching for your next vehicle. You know I'm the bike guy around here, but I think I'm going to let Jamie take a crap, crack at this <laughs> chopper. <laughs> you think you can do it? I mean, come on. Women ride bikes, too. And besides, I've seen your bike. It's a really nice basket you have. So let's take a look at a real one. Yeah, right. This custom 2006 GTM Chopper was built with a RevTech 88 engine package. New, this package alone would cost you over $4,600. It doesn't stop there, though. This bike is flat black on its tank and fenders and has a digital display on the cluster. Here's how it went. See, it started off at $4,550. It's going a preliminary twice, bid. Twice. That one was already pre-established before the auction started. It's a good-looking chopper. Normal wear. Oh, Ooh, that and that one is sold. That's it for the GTM chopper. Copart customer Chuck Carlin works hard with his sign business during the week and his NASCAR announcing on the weekends. But when Chuck gets free time, he plays hard. Check out this 2003 Dodge Viper he found on Copart. <laughs> The Viper is a, was a special car I got at, out of Oklahoma. Um, it had 13,000 miles on it when I got it. The low mileage was just one of the things that caught Chuck's eye. The other, Chuck noticed how little damage the car had. It was side swiped uh, down the right side as if someone took off a little too fast and slid it in the ditch. Those Vipers had some extreme power. It took just a little bit of work and a little bit of money to get that car back on the road. A car that's worth roughly $70,000, uh, I had uh, about $40,000. Now that Chuck knows how easy it is to rebuild fun cars, he's ready to do it again. The next uh, item I want is, is another convertible. Uh, don't really care which, but I want another convertible. And Chuck's rebuilding skills aren't limited to cars and trucks. Once he bought a pontoon boat with a hole in the hull, he fixed that one up, and now he enjoys weekends on the water. Well, we still want to hear about your Copart customer creations. If you have something you think can be featured on the show, you can send your stories to stories at copart.com. So, Greg, it's time for your favorite part of the show, the specialty item of the week. What do you have for us? Uh, it gets cooler and cooler every week. And as you know, last week it was a cat excavator, the week before a car carrier. But this week, something cool in white with blue racing stripes. Nah, it's not a Cobra. It's a 1995 Bluebird bus. Let me break it down for you. With an 8.3 liter, 6 diesel, it may not haul butt, but it sure will haul a lot of butts. Yeah, only 463,000 miles on it, has a California clean title, and with those rainbow stripes on the seat, you're sure to be a hit with your glee club. ACV is only 17K, someone's gonna get a sweet ride in Sacramento later today. And love me a bus. Copart's not just about cars and trucks. If it had wheels or an engine, there's a good chance you can find it on the site. Most of you see a wrecked car on Copart and see a great chance for a rebuild, but the man we're about to meet sees that and so much more, he sees a canvas. His name is Jimbo Bad. He's a tough guy until he starts talking about his work. Me, I love to paint. I love to airbrush. I love to look at the finished product. I also love the reaction. Jimbo Bad's love of airbrushing started when he was just 15 years old, watching a friend airbrush a t-shirt. I went to his house, he was airbrushing some shirts. About 15 minutes later, some guy came in, gave him some cash, and that was it. That was the beginning of my airbrush career. But Jimbo wasn't satisfied with a t-shirt. He wanted more of a challenge, a bigger canvas. So he turned to cars, letting their lines dictate his. The car tells you exactly what to do and what not to do. You know, you don't want to do overkill. You don't want to put too much because then your job is garbage, so. This car is his pride and joy. I call this the Cinna Cadillac because what we have on here are fallen angels and to fall from heaven is because you're a sinner. And I believe I'm a sinner. So this is me expressing how I feel to the world. And that's why this is on the car like that. When Jimbo saw the Caddy in a Copart auction, he admits it needed some work. When I bought this car, it was completely sideswiped on the right side. She pretty much pancaked. No interior damage, no you know airbag deployment, stuff like that. So it was, wasn't really that hard to fix. I had to change the quarter panel, the two doors, repair the fender, just to get it up to, uh, to the proper specs. And that's what I did to fix this one. Jimbo went further than fixing that damage. This car, I changed the, the body kit, gave it a complete body kit, put some 20-inch rims, 
I changed the radio, took that out, I put a touchscreen in there. It's got navigation, the DVD, it's got a rear view camera. And when that was done, Jimbo's real work started. Then after that, you know, you sand it all down, take off whatever needs to be taken off, lights, stuff like that. You prime it up, paint it, airbrush it, clear coat it, wet sand it, buff it. It's, it's a painful process. Well, painful, yes, but well worth it, at least in Jimbo's eyes. Later on Sold in Seconds, Jimbo's back in front of the camera showing all of us firsthand how his art takes shape. Jimbo Bad, the artist and subject. All right, don't go nowhere. It gets interesting after this. An introduction to Jimbo Cam. And the final hot on the block, the Brit Brat 2005 Mini Cooper Convertible after this. Welcome back. The third and final Hot on the Block auction just finished up. The 2005 Mini Cooper Convertible. And I know, Greg, is dying to tell you about it. Yeah, well, you love to torture me. So, well, first off, it's a convertible, which I love. Secondly, this is the first year the BMW-owned Mini had the modern-day convertible. Now, the top is fully auto, and you can even partially open it and act like a sunroof. The screen one has a clean title, normal wear, and just shy of 76,000 miles. Let's see how the auction went. Well, it started off at $7,600 in the preliminary bidding. Going one. Normal going wear, white. clean title. It's a cool looking car. I would love to have one of these. That's Yeah, I bet you would. $7,600, a strong oh, bid. To the highest bidder. And see a little car. Now let's take a look at a live auctioning happening in New Britain, Connecticut. It's a oh, 2007 to Hyundai. Mechanical damage, minor dents. Ooh, quick, look out. That one's gone. Now we're on to a 1991 Nissan going Pathfinder one, with mechanical white. damage. $325 on a bad opening bid. The three liter six on this one. A Connecticut clean title. Sold to the highest bidder. That one is also sold out the door. That's it for the time being. When it comes to looking ahead, I like to keep my head on a swivel. Yeah, here are a few auctions that are coming up in the next few hours. What he's trying to say is that it's time for On the Clock presented by DonateCard.com. Right now in Houston, Texas, this 2004 Ferrari 360 Spider is waiting to go on the block. The Spider is the convertible version of the Modena, so not only can you go 0 to 60 in 4.5, but you can feel the wind in your hair while you do it. It can be yours at the top of the hour. Uh, uh, uh. And how about this in Denver, Colorado? There's a 2000 Freightliner car hauler waiting to be put to work. It's like it's stranded on the island of misfit car haulers. But soon to find a new gig, clean title, normal wear, and a smidge over 718,000 miles. 